what had traditionally been a winner's bracket night is now a loser's bracket elimination game showdown. She gets the job done, picks up the out. So an RBI opportunity for Delaney Wiz, and nobody still in the tournament has more runs batted in than Delaney does. 14 of them in this postseason with a couple of home runs. And Wiz gets a hold of one, and that's out to left. They will wave the runner home. Washington to the play head first. And within minutes, UCLA grabs the lead. Delaney Wiz has just been outstanding, a 400-plus batting average, and this is a curveball on the outside corner, so it's going to be a little back door, but it comes back into the zone over the white, and she just goes and gets it, drops it onto the green, and obviously with the speed of Kinsley Washington, she's going to dive and get to that plate, putting a run up on the board for UCLA here in this first inning. She was the MOP. She went 5 and 8. Change up, got her. Danielle Williams working out of the jam and a couple stranded for UCLA. I believe the chant from the Northwestern faithful was Rudd's a stud, and she will indeed stay in the game. One, two pitch, base hit up the middle. Runners will be held at the benefit of that shallow Field. They were hard charging, especially Shellmeyer in center, so they are loaded for the top of the order. Infield is in. First pitch swinging. Definitely priority left field, but Maeve Nelson was actually going to be camped underneath it. She goes back great. That's a shortstop, but then Zedak calls her off. Obviously, a ball that can definitely be caught. She's running full speed, ends up catching up almost up her arm. Costly error for the Wildcats. Two to Zedak. Shadow center. Gonna be a run and going back is Perez and it's off her glove. And she did not give way there to Brady. And the throw to first, diving back in safely is Zedak. Wow, and that's gotta be communication, right, Jess? I mean, yes. I think that's Brady's ball. How far you have to travel if you're Bree Perez, you're in center field. And that's just aggressiveness. I mean, you gotta know as soon as this ball's hit and you're an outfielder, especially center fielder, no one has more priority on the field than center field. Be loud. Go get that. Couple home runs, 17 runs batted in this year, and she'll slap it here, and Perez can't get it to fair ball. Run will score for Northwestern, and they've cut the deficit in half. When you got a lot of velocity and a lot of movement, I think this is where short game is such a benefit because all you're trying to do is get to contact. Just literally get your barrel to the ball, try to place something. Couldn't find a better spot on the field, honestly, to get between the reaching Bree Perez off the glove. Great effort there. Reese Edo, your number nine hitter on base, an RBI, and a double. Three two pitch coming with two outs. The runners will be on the move. in the circle, now the bats. They are just two for 12 tonight with runners in scoring position. They've left eight on base. They've had chances in nearly every inning to pad the lead, and look at this! Megan Faramo! Home run, UCLA! What's the pitch 
that we've talked about for Danielle Williams. It's been the changeup, and that's exactly what this is. And look at the location. I mean, this is where you want it, low and in. And Faremo dropped the barrel on this changeup. The hardest hit that we've seen against Williams. Scoring over eight runs per game in the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament. Regionals and Supers and a diving grab made by Irvines. One down. I just love the reacts too. Anna Vines coming in. We've seen so much emotion in this game because of how close this score has been. Anna Vines laying it all out. Frame up loves it. First out of the inning. One for two with a sacrifice. Base hit. One run is in, and the RBI single for Garcia to score Hatch. 4-1 UCLA. What did Kelly Inouye Perez tell Holly Rowe about halfway through this game? We need to be more aggressive. We came into this game saying we've got to get ahead. We've got to swing at the first two pitches in every count. Why? Because of that off-speed pitch. Once you get two strikes, that's where we've seen them struggle. Instead, this inning already. Drop them down the squeeze, and they score another one. Perfect execution for UCLA. 5-1. And, and I love the way that UCLA is going to see this. So take a look at what's going on here. The first baseman is going to be back. So in this particular situation, when this bunt goes down, it's all pitcher. Williams has to take this on her own, being left-handed. There's really not much of a play for her. She's got to go over and try to shovel the ball out of her glove to try to have the opportunity to get Brady at home, but it's just not going to happen. And that's one of the problems when you play your first baseman back deep instead of having them cover on bunts. Malalua, the play to second for one, and a run scores. As Kuro comes in, 6-1 UCLA, two down. Anita going to do a good job of actually getting to this ball. It looked like she was going to go to first base to Cochran, and then the last second she decides she's going to go back up the middle. Looks like she's going to go first, changes her foot position, goes to Maeve Nelson to pick up a couple of walks, a single, a stolen base, a run scored. Runner at first goes, the throw down in time, and the tag is applied for the third out, and the Bruins will not get that run in from third. Six to one. A single, a pop-up, and a walk for Skyler. Right back to Ferremo, over the first ball game. UCLA wins it. Six to one, the finals survive in advance for the Bruins. And the season comes to an end for Northwestern with Rachel Lewis in the on-deck circle.